No matter what mode you're playing in Fortnite, lag can ruin your game. Whether you're trying to take a wall in Battle Royale or line up a headshot in Ballistic, a bad connection will hold you back. In this video, we'll show you how to optimize your connection step by step. First, we'll check out Fortnite's in-game settings to diagnose any connection issues. Then, we'll cover the quickest and easiest way to improve your connection. And finally, we'll show you how the NetDuma R3 gaming router can eliminate lag for good. Let's get started. Fortnite has built-in settings that can help you understand what's causing your connection issues. First, check your matchmaking region in the settings menu. Make sure it's set to auto or the lowest ping region available. The game server you connect to is the biggest factor affecting your ping. If you're connecting to a faraway server, your ping will be higher because of the increased travel distance for your game data. For the best ping, always choose the closest servers. For example, if you're like us in the UK, the best matchmaking region is Europe. Next, enable net debug stats in the game UI settings. This displays network stats in real time so you can see if you're dealing with high ping, packet loss, or an unstable connection. With this info, you can skip to the exact part of the video that addresses your issue. Check the timestamps in the description. What's the fastest and easiest way to improve your connection? Switching from Wi-Fi to a wired Ethernet connection, it's often overlooked, but it makes a huge difference for gaming. A great gaming connection isn't about having the fastest internet, it's about having a stable connection. Even back in the dial-up days, people could play online because stability is what really matters. And that's exactly what an Ethernet cable provides. Wi-Fi, on the other hand, suffers from interference, weaker signal strength, and even packet loss especially if your gaming setup is in another room. But if running an Ethernet cable to your console or PC isn't possible, consider Powerline adapters. These devices use your home's electrical wiring to carry an Ethernet connection, offering a much more stable gaming experience than Wi-Fi. Now let's talk about how the NetDuma R3 can take your connection to the next level. You might be wondering, why would I need another router? Isn't the one my ISP gave me enough? The truth is, standard routers don't have the advanced gaming features you'll find on the R3, so let's take a look at them now. First up, the GeoFilter, our most popular feature. It lets you control what servers you connect to so you can always get the best possible ping. Fortnite's matchmaking regions can contain multiple servers and depending on your location, their ping can vary a lot. The GeoFilter allows you to choose the best ones specifically. Just add your console or PC as a device, select Fortnite and set your preferred filter radius. Now you'll only connect to servers within that range, ensuring a low ping experience. We'd recommend starting with a 1000 mile radius, but if you want to find out where the best servers are located, check out the R3's ping heat map feature. Select Fortnite from the drop-down menu and you'll see a map of all the game's servers, color-coded by ping. The green ones will be the best servers for you. With this info, you can fine-tune your geo-filter for even better results. Next, let's talk about Steady Ping. This feature stabilizes your connection by eliminating ping spikes, also known as jitter. Just enable it with this button in the geo-filter interface. In simple mode, Steady Ping automatically stabilizes your connection, while Expert Mode lets you tweak it further to find the best setting for your connection. You'll see the difference right away in the ping graph within the GeoFilter sidebar. The top line of the graph shows your new, stable ping, while the bottom line shows your original, unstable ping. Finally, we have Smart Boost, a game changer for anyone gaming on a busy network. If you've ever lagged because someone else was streaming or downloading, this is the feature for you. Smart Boost automatically prioritizes your gaming traffic, ensuring it always gets the bandwidth it needs. If you selected gaming as a priority during the initial R3 setup, you're already good to go. If not, just add gaming to the priority list and make sure it's at the top. That's it. As Smart Boost allocates the perfect amount of bandwidth to all applications, it also reduces buffer bloat across the whole network. So no matter who's online, your gaming won't be slowed down. The R3 has even more powerful features, but these are the key ones that will optimize your connection in Fortnite. If you want to learn more, check out the link to our website in the description. And that's it for this Fortnite lag fix guide. Hopefully you've been able to improve your connection, whether by tweaking your settings, switching to a wired setup, or using the R3. If you want to see how the R3 can improve your connection in other games, check out the other videos on our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.